Welcome to another Iron Man video. We're starting this one off by looting a Beastmaster Dursag. It would be very nice to get a codex. Oh, we get prime prime vol boots or whatever you call that. Uh, that is for magic. That's actually so nice. I need that for Telos. Perfect. So back when I was doing Shattered Worlds, I wanted to unlock mechanized Chinchompas, and I thought it was from Dwarven Technology, but it was actually from Goblin, and I didn't know that you couldn't change between them, like, super quickly, so I screwed up and I picked Dwarven, and I've done one task and I got 15 points for it, basically, or currency. You need 100 to be able to change to the other one, and then after that, I have to do some Goblin tasks to be able to unlock the mechanized Chinchompas, so I guess I will just uh, casually do some Dwarven tasks. You get one task per 12 hours, I think. So uh, it is something I'll just have to casually work on uh, to change my uh, my technology tree to the Goblin one. Oh, so it stacks up to five times, like daily tasks. I completed one and I got 15 currency, so I can just do all of these and I uh, should get quite a lot uh, of currency, actually. Might be faster than I expected then. Honestly, I feel like I'm getting so many pets in the past days. I got the Ambi pet, the attack pet, and now I also got the fire making pet, Bernie. I'm actually 98 fire making, as you can see, and I'm only 100,000 experience off, so I'm actually very close to getting that 99. And uh, let's actually have a look at this pet. I have no idea how this looks. So uh, let's go to skilling pets. And then we have, where is he? There we go, Bernie. Oh, it's just like a burning tree. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm going to call it and see how it looks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. 222 more experience. Let's just add one U log, should be enough. 99 fire making achieved, another 99, one step closer to that max cape. And I'm going to now also go to this girl right here, talk to her, and then toggle max challenges for fire making. Where is it? There we go. So I can't get any more daily challenges for that. More chances to get the more useful ones to get closer to max, which is very nice. And now I'm actually going to go to bed because it is right now 4 in the night. I actually feel like doing some Telos, and the thing right now with Telos is that I have 14 kills, current kill streak 14, and uh, I am currently at my highest end range ever. And if I go in here, I have loot worth like 14 million, I think, in the uh, loot thing I can claim. But I don't want to claim it because I didn't get any specific rares, and most of it is just herbs that... I'm sure it's a good herb lore experience, but I do want to try to push it even further. But this is going to be the highest enrage attempt I've ever done. So if I die, it's not that strange, but... Uh, Let's see if I can actually manage to do it with uh, this gear setup. By the way, I have a gothic staff in my Essence of Finality. It is looking pretty good right now. I should be able to make this, take the insta hit, and then maybe I can just kill the boss here. Hopefully, with 12,000 HP left. And uh, definitely not a very clean kill. But uh, if I just manage to get the kill, I'm happy I don't lose all the loot. And there we go. That is now a 150% enrage record for me, which is uh, probably... Not very impressive to most of you, but uh, to me it is, because I have uh, pretty much recently started doing this. And I get black dragon hides. Why do I have... Uh, so I get loot instantly, I don't want to have that. It's uh, more interesting to get it uh, on the roll. But yeah, this is all the loot I have in the chest right now, which is uh, nothing too great. I, I don't think there's anything here that's too interesting. The uh, energies are of course good for charges and stuff like that. But um, I actually want to get raw rock tails because you can get 12%. That's pretty good. You can get a lot of raw rock tails from Telos if you get a drop of it. You can get thousands of them. And I actually want that for the cooking experience because that would be another 99 I can get. I was so nervous this kill, I actually procced the sign of death on the uh, red face, so that was really risky, I didn't have it for the last one. But I did manage to get the kill, and that is now a 162, I think, enraged kill as my highest. Getting closer to that one, 200%, not 100%, 200%, let's see what we get from this one, and now it's actually going to spin, so the loot is going to be Dragon Arrow Tips, no Rock Tails, 3.4k of them. That is a good fleshing experience, honestly. It's like, these give the same experience as broad arrow tips, by the way, or broad arrows. So, uh, yeah, that's basically 3,400 broads. Regardless of how this goes, which is probably going to be a death, unfortunately, I procced the uh, sign of death in the red phase again. This will definitely be the last kill I'm going to be doing on this streak, but uh, let's see what happens. 
And it is a death. I screwed up a wholesale invader and that's how it goes when you haven't done the boss for a very long time. But regardless, the loot was not, as you could see earlier, that insane. Uh, I think you keep some loot when you've done a big kill streak, so let's see what I kept. I don't mean that 15 kill streak is uh, something insane, but of course it was my record, so uh, let's see what we keep. We keep- oh my god, really? I only lost, like, 20% maybe of all the loot, so that wasn't even risky at all. Awesome, let's just uh, bank all of that, and wow, I did not expect that actually. I do want to see if I can get some rock tail drops though, so I'm just going to go from 0% and rage, and unless I get something interesting or rock tails, I'm not going to show the loot really. Don't want to spam clips, but uh, yeah, just the first one. That is actually a good drop for 0% and raged. I guess it's kind of a milestone, 50 Telos kills, and the loot for that is going to be even more herbs. I'm getting so many herbs on this. By the way, I actually died on the second kill. Yep, I just uh, spaced out. Guess I can show you guys the 100% enraged kills. This is now over 100% and let's see what the loot is going to be. Some uh, talismans, not very good. And we're at 5.5 million now and 104% enraged. Would be nice to get some rock tails now. Let's see what we get. And we get... I've actually been getting a lot of energies. Let's see how many that is. 4k total. Yeah, it's pretty good. Look at that. Could have been the uh, dormant Saros god sword. Of course, that's not how it works, but... Uh, yeah, 128% on rage. Oh my god, that is a good fletching experience. I actually don't have an aura and I'm getting into the higher rages now, so I'm just going to take a break from Telos. I'll get back to it later probably, but um, what I haven't done on my account yet is actually make a spring cleaner and it is so useful when doing Slayer or any really type of PVMing. Because it can like auto alk items and I think you can also choose to uh, automatically disassemble items when they drop. I think you get like different options. But you have to upgrade it and I'm making tight springs to be able to upgrade it now. I actually just made it as well. So if uh, we finish this one and then I can upgrade it here. And then I guess I'll just use 600. And it is now upgraded to 3000. But oh it's okay so twice upgraded. And I'm not sure exactly how you use this. I think uh, salvage, high alk mode or disassembly mode. So I guess if you use high alk mode, it is going to take one charge maybe every single time you uh, proc that alk. I'm not sure how it works, but uh, I guess I'll understand it the more I use it. A quick update on how it's going with my technology to make the mechanized chinchompas. Well, I swapped to goblin technology now and I'm going to be buying the chinchompa thing. And that's really all I care about right now. So I should be able to go to this bench right here and unlock the mechanized chinchompas. Which are going to be super nice to try out in the shattered worlds, which I'm going to be using an ascension crossbow with uh, aftershock as the perk so let's have a look at what you actually need to make these it is uh, red chinchompa so i actually have to go and hunt some of those now and then plated parts i have so many of same with connector parts and living components i have so many of as well so really all i have to do is get red chinchompas and then after that when i have a bunch of them i'm going to show you guys why these are so overpowered on cleave by no means do I have the perfect mechanized chinchompa setup, neither in abilities or aura or whatever, I'm just using a vampirism aura and the full anima core set with an ascension crossbow as my offhand with the aftershock perk. But how they work is if the monsters are stacked enough, which they have to be pretty stacked for it to work. So look at these for example, I can just use a snapshot and they all die. It just cleaves all of the monsters that are stacked in a pile. But for example, on packs like these that are way more spread out, they are a bit harder to use. And sometimes the mobs do so much damage in these packs and you can't really cleave more than like one or two enemies that you just don't really get the value that you want out of them and you take way too much damage for the damage you can output. But as you can see, in some cases as well, the cleave is just incredible. For example, on these uh, orcs that are in front of me now, they are all melee. None of them are casters, so you can just stack them up super easily and run through worlds like this. So if I run here and I stack them up all in a pile and I use like a threshold ability, you can see how much damage I'm doing to these. And that is just so insanely strong. 
And in moments like, for example, this in another world, you can stack up all the Cress bots, for example, or whatever monsters you have that all do melee attacks on you mostly. There's only like one major there, I think, or two. And I can stack them all in a pile, use like just a few abilities, and they're all instantly dead. No bombardment, no greater ricochet or anything. That's the true strength of the mechanization Chompas, but if the mobs are not stacked, it is not that good. I spent pretty much all my anima on experience lamps on Slayer and I've actually just reset my Slayer counter and ranged counter. I made some more mechanized chinchompas and I'm just going to do one hour of Shattered Worlds and see how much Slayer experience that is an hour. I've heard it could be up to 2 million but I'm definitely not good geared or skilled enough to be able to do 2 million an hour. But I just want to see how much Slayer experience I can get an hour with. Uh, I'm probably going to be using the Reckless Aura. Maybe I'll change during the time if I take too much damage. But I just want to see how many, how much anima can I get in an hour and how much Slayer experience is that. I think my uh, soul split bugged out a bit. I don't know what this is. But uh, that is the end of the hour. And I actually died like three times I think because... Turns out it's pretty hard to do the uh, mechanized chompa strategy when you just run through a lot of mobs and then you cleave them down. You take a lot of damage, at least with this setup. But um, I got 1.1 million almost range experience, so that is pretty insane. And if you're wondering what I grinded, I just uh, did the worlds, uh, let's skip here. I did, uh, I worlds 86 to 90 and I went just as far as I could. And then whenever I died, I just uh, reset and went from 86 again. So let's see how much anima we actually made in one hour of doing this strategy and let's see how many lamps we can buy. We're at 48 million, so definitely not very good. Uh, if I buy some lamps I can buy not that many actually, uh, I guess I can buy two more now or maybe yeah three more. So let's buy all these lamps and they do give 68,000 experience each, so let's see how much we get uh, from all of them. Last one, and it is 550,000 experience in a bad hour, I would say. I think my peak maybe would be like 800,000 if I didn't die at all and I got some pretty good worlds. Of course, I do think that that 200,000 is very doable. I've seen some people do this super smooth and if I was good enough, I could definitely do it. But still, 550,000 Slayer experience and 1.1 million ranged, even if you're not very good at it is not that bad Slayer experience. I forgot my essence of finality, but uh, I guess I still managed to get the kill and we get some battle staves, not really what I wanted. But uh, at this end range, I'm just going to claim the loot right now and I'm going to reset it. I just want to farm some Rocktails at this point. Oh, 202 Rocktails. That's uh, at least a Rocktail drop. First one I've seen in a long time. Guys, I'm actually over 100% enrage again, and I only got that one single rock tail drop. And I've actually done, is, as you can see in the chat, 70 telos overall, and of course the 162 record that we got in this video. And I've only got, I think, one or two rock tail drops overall, making it like 1 in 35 for me at the moment. So obviously farming telos for just rock tails, turns out it is probably not the best idea. But if you do casually telos now and then, you're going to get a lot of rock tails over time. Especially when you get to those higher enrages and kill streaks, you can get up to like thousands of rock tails in one single drop. And that is obviously what you want to be able to reach. But I think for cooking 99, I'm going to reset schedule it a bit or um, remake the plan I'm going to just do like blue blubbers because I was told that those are very good to fish because you'll need a lot of them and if you just do telos and you get rock tails then you have both of the best food in the game pretty much sailfish is a bit overkill I've heard so it should be fine and I'm just doing some wood cutting now almost about to be able to make another sentinel piece I have a lot of wood cutting to do, a lot of AFK time that I can't really make into any interesting content, but let's end the video with another Dursai kill just like we started it, and let's see if we can get something good. Hopefully we get uh, nothing, but techie, always nice to get that, work towards the codexes, I have 7.5k techie now, so basically halfway to a codex. But that is going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps my videos get shown. So that is one of the best ways to support. Also, you can subscribe or click any of the videos on the screen right now if you want to see more of my content in the future or right now. Have a good one, guys. Take care.